Hello, my name is Charles Williams, and today I will be doing a presentation on the documentary um, Cop Watchers and the book Just Mercy. The two, the two substances um, that I observed being Just Mercy and Cop Watchers, they share a lot of common focal points that as a society we we look at and many people have different views upon those focal points um, and that is what I'm going to be talking about today and just mercy the author or writer basically explains how he is um, a legal advisor for Alabama detainees who have been placed on death row and some that have been are mainly he deals with people that have been wrongly convicted or unjustly condemned by the justice system now speaking just in terms of being wrongly convicted and um, unjustly condemned by the justice system it is hard to to say that the justice system is fair because in reality, it is not. As a young black man myself, um, looking at what is going on today, I believe that everyone can pretty much vouch that there is a uh, there is a unbalance in the justice system. So, with that being said, I'm going to start with uh, basically just mercy and talk about how. Um, or the, the focal points of Just Mercy and what exactly was said in the reading and how the reading um, correlates with the documentary that was watched, which was Cop Watchers. Um, the, many, the many things that, that I saw in comparison to both, um, both of the substances that I observed were the unbalances that are blatantly put in front of us. However, since those of higher authority are able to throw things under the rug or push things to the side, um, we still sit here today. And unfortunately, we have to go through the things that we do. And those things are going to be talked about um, in today's presentation. So. Speaking upon Just Mercy, it basically, the book basically gives you an idea of how many people have been wrongly convicted and how many people have been treated unfairly by the justice system. And it goes, it goes far to say that us as minorities, we are treated unfairly 10 times, 12 times, a thousand times more than those not of color or not of a, a, um, a marginal group, even women, and can, can vouch for the, the unbalance in the, in the system as women are treated unfairly all the time, even going further into depth with with uh with women and, and being in the high hierarchy of of power uh, with that being said just mercy also touches on how we can be more compassionate as as people of the of the justice system and as people in general i believe that this 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 document gives a lot of the document gives a lot of um, information or a lot of great ideas on how we can better handle things and or different ways that we can go about being able to make this system more suitable for everyone and make it equal for 
everyone and not just suitable for one specific group or one specific uh, origin. And the book, and the book is uh, talks about um, Stevenson, who is the uh, the legal advisor, and how he basically uh, he works with the people that are being that are in in the system that are in the system and going through things on a daily basis such as being wrongly convicted such as having their lives taken away um, for good and they have done nothing wrong um, leaving a family behind leaving kids behind and forcing them to grow up without a father and even a mother uh, in some in some cases this this book also can correlate to the the cop watchers uh, documentary very well because the cop watchers the cop watchers documentary it shows how cops in New York uh, get away with murder and they wrongfully manage minorities uh, with the rest and what I mean by that is cops tend to um, go about arresting us as minorities the wrong way. They're extremely aggressive and their procedures are often not uh, followed as they, as they should be. Cops a lot of the times tend to take matters into their own hands and us as people, we see that on social media and with the cop watchers, it also gives us an idea or even so a perspective of the different things that people go through on a daily basis. Um, Cop Watchers is based out of New York and it's, uh, it's focused on the New York police force, but it also gives you a grasp of what goes on in the world because police brutality is not only happening in New York, but New York does have the largest police force in the world. Uh, therefore, this documentary basically talks about how big of an impact the police force has on the community. With that being said, I also want to talk about the views that us minorities have, and I say us because I am um, a man of color. We, we see things in a different light because we go through them on a daily basis and I believe that the documentary Cop Watchers basically gives everyone a, a great perspective on how the system works and how we are treated on a daily basis just because of the skin of our color or, um, or, or just our notion and in general. Um, the Cop Watchers documentary, it basically also gives you a, a um, idea of how cops pick and choose when they want to enforce the law and how they want to enforce the law. Um, cops oftentimes basically act if they're above the law and they aren't a part of regular society. Um, that basically, that basically states, not states, that it, it, it talk it shows that we as people often see the police as or we're supposed to view the police as people that are out there to serve and protect us on the streets. Instead we view the police as an enemy or someone that's a antagonist, someone that's out to get us. And I believe that, that is true, and it is true because of the the past incidents that we have had with um, young black men or black men in general being killed by police for no wrongdoing, and there's no backlash on the police force. Um, society's view on that is is us people that are hurting. And when I say us people, again, I am meaning 
minorities we are we're hurting because it is unfair for us to be wrongly convicted always always under pressure of of going to jail by for anything that we that we might do and police they can do whatever they want and basically get away with it because um essentially they're they act if they're above the law and oftentimes police do do things that aren't that aren't legal however they still are able to get away with it um along with that along with that I want to speak about I want to go back and touch on just mercy the book because it grants the book grants a lot of insight on how things or how um, how we can go about handling things a little better, how we can be more compassionate, how we can be more um, observant to to the groups of minorities that that are being are being hurt and how we can come together and kind of find a common a common point. And in the in the reading, you basically you basically see some of those things being stated uh, about how we can how we can show kindness. Um, Stevenson he basically talks about how uh, how when he was when he was young. His mom caught him uh, taunting, taunting a kid, and she basically told him to apologize. And basically, told Stevenson to tell the kid that he cherished him. And the kid, in return, embraced Stevenson and told uh, and, and let Stevenson know that he also, in in turn cherished him and that experience for Stevenson gave him the, the idea that people can come together people can do right but it has to be done in the right way in the right light and it, and it has to be more so of a something that wants to be done not something that is forced to be done um, in cop watchers in cop watchers there are many views um, that are that are put out and uh, I just want to talk about some of them because there are some great points uh, the cop who wrongfully killed Eric Gardner because he was accused of selling cigarettes uh, without tax outside of a store um, he was not charged for murder after stepping on Eric Gardner's back um, multiple cops in that in that situation but one cop in particular who was enforcing most of the the, um, the pressure on Eric Gardner, he was not charged. While a man who filmed the entire thing uh, faced years in jail, and the imbalance in that justice system just shows right there because it is extremely extremely hard to fathom the fact that. A man who took another man's life is able to walk away with no consequence at all. But a man who sat there and was basically helpless and, and hopeless filmed the entire thing and faced years in jail for being an innocent bystander without causing any obstruction to what was going on. Um, that really is beyond me because I don't understand how a justice system can work so much in the favor of people who are 